that Fenty face is sit sit sitting. Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome back to my channel yet again. You're back. I'm pumping out content while we're in quarantine. Today I decided to film a golden hour makeup look and I figured since we're in quarantine, we're not doing too much. This is a good time to figure out how to get your base makeup done. And this is a good time for me to use all my favorite Fenty products, you know? Cause me and Fenty, we're like this. This is the look I came up with. It's cute. If you guys wanna see how I achieved this look, make sure you guys keep watching. If you find that you're enjoying the video, don't just keep watching and don't subscribe, okay? Don't do me like that. Hit the subscribe button. Don't play me, don't play you, don't play we. Subscribe. Brows are complete. Face needs to be primed. Y'all know what my favorite primer is. Don't act brand new. If you are brand new, then why haven't you been here? You should have been here a long time ago. But my favorite primer is the Milk Hydro Grip, just like every other YouTuber. <laughs> for this look, I'm gonna go for that, what look am I doing? What's it called again? Oh, I'm gonna go for like a golden hour look, so I kinda want my skin to be slightly luminous, not over the top dewy, but you know, just a little, a little glow here and there for the girls. Since I talk so much about Fenty in my videos and I do a lot of Fenty reviews, I am gonna highlight my favorite Fenty products. We're gonna start with the Pro Filter Foundation and you guys know, this is this is Bay. This is one of my favorite foundations. And when I'm not using this foundation by itself, I like to mix the Huda Beauty foundation with it. But for the sake of today's video, I'm gonna use it by itself. The shade that I have on is 385. I've stated in my previous videos that 385 is not my exact match. I'm really real about Fenty products and how I feel. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I feel like Fenty's complexion shades are a little, they're just a little off. Just, you know, here and there. I don't have a perfect shade in this foundation, but it's the formula. It's the formula for me, dog. It's the formula. That's why I love it so much. In this lighting, I probably look pretty decent, but Typically I'll do 385 and 390 mixed and it gives me the perfect amount of warmth. All right, so the next step. I have been clocked for the under eye area. I have been clocked. <laughs> One of my subbies told me that my under eyes were clockable. Constructive criticism is always cool. I'm here for it as long as it's constructive. <laughs> okay, so for my under eye area, I am gonna use a shade that's closer to my skin tone before I highlight. I'm gonna use my LA Girl Concealer in the shade Fawn, because I don't have any more, uh-oh. Usually when I color correct my under eyes, I would use MAC Peach Luster, but I haven't bought it in quite some time. So I don't have that right now. But if you don't have a color corrector, you can always use a concealer that's close to your actual foundation shade, just to add more warmth before you go ahead and conceal your under eyes. And I had been skipping this step for a while, but I have been clocked. I gotta make sure that I'm actually doing it the right way. Cause you know, your girl ain't trying to be clockable over here. That's not what I like. It's not what I want. I don't want the gray cast under my eyes. This should look a lot more even now that I've added that. And now once this is down, now I can go ahead and use my concealer that I would use to highlight under my eyes. And that concealer just so happens to be a Fenty concealer. So, shade 370. And I'm gonna add this to the under eye area. And everywhere that I want to stand out. So like the center of my forehead, down the nose, right above my lip. And I'm gonna skip the chin for today because I really don't wanna highlight that area right now. We're just gonna keep it cute. I'm gonna start by blending my forehead out first. Blend down the nose. And now I'm gonna hit the under eye area. So the last area that I'm gonna blend out is right next to my lower lash line because I wanted to give that a chance to dry up a little bit more before I blended it out. 
I feel like if you let your concealer dry down just a little bit before you blend it out, you'll get a little bit more coverage. And with the remaining, with the remaining, Bruh. oh, girl, you can't speak. With the remaining product, I'm going to use that right above my lip. Girls looking cute. See, this is why I like Fenty products, you know? I'm that girl that loves Fenty. And I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed at all. You think I feel bad about doing Fenty videos all the time? No. But what I do know is that she needs to get your girl on PR. Like, I don't even know at this point how, how do you even get on PR? Like, how does it happen? What I gotta do, Fenty, huh? Now that everything is blended out on my face and I'm looking smooth and cute, I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye with the shade Honey. Let's talk about this setting powder. This setting powder is heavy duty. Okay, this is not your average setting powder. When you are using this product, especially under your eyes, you need to be extremely sparing with it because you can go to Casket Sharp real quick using this. I mean, it'll dry you out real quick. So if you don't want your under eyes looking dry or if you have more mature skin, don't play. Lightly, lightly set it. Don't go dunking your whole sponge in there and thinking you're gonna bake with it because it's not gonna be a good look. I'm using my Real Technique setting brush and I'm gonna use that to just add a little bit, tap off the excess product, and I'm gonna lightly set my under eye area. For those of you guys that are new with makeup, there's a difference between setting your under eye and baking your under eye. Baking means that you're leaving your product on and moving to other parts of your makeup. Setting is where you just put the product on, dab it on there, and then you brush it away. You don't let it sit, you don't let it cook, you don't let it marinate. Put it on, take it off, quick. So now I'm just lightly dusting the product off so that I don't have a buildup of product sitting under my eye. I'm also gonna use this where I would typically get smile lines and I'm just using a really, really light amount of product because I don't wanna overdo it. If you're oily in your T-zone, you can add it to the forehead lightly to mattify that area and you can add it on your nose wherever you feel like you get oily just make sure that you're being cautious with this product as you guys should know per my last video <clears throat> i picked up the cream bronzer i already have the powder bronzer me and her we're bae like we have a thing going on it's a love love relationship okay we're here we're one and the same i just tried the cream bronzer and it got a little, it became a little bit of a situation. So if you wanna see, you know, the full rundown of what happened, go check the last video where I review all of the cream products. <sighs> I bought the shade Teddy. Now, usually I use the shade Coco Naughty. Teddy was giving your girl olive vibes. Now, I saw a lot of people in the comments and they were like, you know, girl, just use your finger, get a denser brush. <sighs> I tried it again. And I did it this time without foundation and I promise y'all, I feel like this looked green on my skin. Like I said, sometimes Fenty does struggle in the complexion department. That's just my personal opinion, okay? I said what I said. Something about these cream bronzers to me are a little bit off. Like this is definitely giving me more of that greenish undertone. And this is giving me more of that it's giving me more sun-kissed, you know, the sun-kissed vibe that I would want. I'm gonna go ahead just for the sake of the video and I'm gonna apply this. And if I happen to not like it again, then I'm just gonna go ahead and set it with Coco Naughty. I'm gonna use the same brush that I used last time. So I want my skin to have that dewy look today. And I'm gonna apply it in the areas that I want my skin to be bronzed. What I didn't tell you guys the very last time that I reviewed it is that I noticed like a little tiny bit of micro shimmer in this, which is pretty. And I can see the micro shimmer on my face and I guess that's what's giving it that super dewy look. I just had to give this product another shot on camera. And since I'm going for a more dewy, golden hour kind of look, I'm gonna want that, you know, that reflection, that sheen, that shine, that glow. I feel like in this lighting you can see it a lot better than in the video that I posted already, so that's a good thing. 
Also, I looked at the shade Chocolate and chocolate is way too deep for me as well. So there was no way that I was gonna get away with wearing chocolate. I'm glad I didn't order it because that wouldn't have worked out for me either. That looks to be more like a contour shade than anything. So, you know, it's either gonna be this or it's gonna be something that's a contour shade. And I'd rather just stick with this since I already have it. Before I set my face with Coco Naughty, I'm gonna use the blush in the shade Rose Latte. And I told you guys, I really do like this blush shade. I think it's super pretty. I'm gonna dab that on the apples of my cheek. And for the application, I'm going to try to keep this up a little bit higher, closer to my under eye area. I don't want to pull the blush down. Most of the time when you're flushed, it shows more in this area. I do think this is still a little bit shiny for me personally, so I am going to lightly set the bronzer with Coco Naughty. That adheres really well. Because the cream bronzer has a slightly more, I don't wanna call it sticky or tacky, but it's definitely really emollient on the skin. Only a little bit of this will do. You do not have to heavily set it with the bronzer because I feel like it just changed the color of it completely. It's definitely not necessary to have a heavy hand with that. And I'm also lightly gonna bronze my forehead as well. And now I have a really pretty natural flush to the skin while looking bronzy. Cute. I don't want to stop there. Cause like I said, I want to glow. I'm gonna use my matchstick in the shade Chili Mango. And this is like a really, really pretty tangerine orange. Or maybe like, it's a little bit, yeah, it's like a tangerine orange. It's really, really pretty. And I think it's similar to the blush that just came out in the shade Fuego Flush. I'm gonna warm some of this up on the back of my hand. And this has like a really, really nice shimmer in it that's gonna give my cheeks a little bit of a glow. I'm gonna pick some of this up with my blush brush. And I'm gonna apply this right on top of where I put Rose Latte, just to build it up. So you guys should be able to tell, it's not really changing the shade of the blush, but it is adding the gold micro shimmer to my cheeks. And in the sun, I feel like it reflects really, really pretty. Now I'm gonna move on to my contour using Truffle Matchstick. I'm gonna do a very light contour today because I don't wanna be, you know, I don't wanna be too snatchy snatched because we want this to be a little bit more subtle and subdued, but still slaying your edges, okay? The nose contour is a little bit on the snatched side. So to combat that, I can blend this out just a little bit with my sponge to try to get rid of any harsh lines. For my eyes, I'm also gonna keep the eyes very, very simple. I don't have any Fenty eyeshadow palettes. Again, you can check my videos that I already have posted. I did the snap shadow review and they were not my cup of tea, sadly. So I'm gonna use Truffle Matchstick yet again. Shout out to Truffle Matchstick for being multi-use. I'm gonna put this on a blending brush and I'm gonna add this into the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just adding a little bit of this to add some depth and dimension so it doesn't look so flat. Oh, by the way, I did not prime my eyes because this look is going to be pretty simple. It's not going to be anything too dramatic that requires any primer. An eye product that I do really like from Fenty is their two-in-one liquid eye shimmers. These are actually really, really good. This is one of their better eye products. I'm going to use the shade Mamacita. I'm not sure if they still have this online. This came out in one of their summer collections. So I'm just gonna add that. And I don't want anything too harsh. So I'm popping this on my inner corner and like halfway down the lid. And then I'm gonna use my finger to dab it and blend it out.
And that just brightens up my lid just a little bit more. I'm gonna take just a bit of cognac candy and I'm gonna use my finger, add this on the lid right on top of that shimmer shade to add a little bit of glow and sparkle. Now you guys know I've been back on my rum matchstick. I love this matchstick. I think it's so pretty. I'm gonna use this on the high points of my face to add even more glow than I already have. And dab that one right here. And I'm gonna just lightly tap that in. And when you're using these over foundation, you wanna stipple the product in so it doesn't disturb anything that's underneath. I'm gonna use my finger to dab this on my nose. Doing the very center. And I'm gonna add a little bit to the tip of my nose. I could stop right here with the cheek glow, but I'm not. We're gonna add cognac candy right on top. I'm gonna use the Fenty highlighter brush and I'm just gonna pop that in. Golden hour requires golden makeup and I want my cheeks to look nice and beaming. I want you to be able to see this from a mile away. And I'm thinking that we have reached that point. We have reached the ultimate glow. I'm gonna go ahead and do some Mascara, should I do lashes today? The makeup artist at Fenty wouldn't put lashes on with this look, but I'm not a makeup artist for Fenty. I don't wanna forget to set my brows cause that is like one of the most important steps to me. This is an e.l.f. brow gel. If Fenty came out with a brow gel, you'd know I'd be on it like in a heartbeat. But they don't have that yet, so I'm using e.l.f. This is a good brow gel and it's only $3, so nothing wrong with this. I just feel like my look is never complete without the gel. Gotta have the gel. Lips are the last step in this makeup look. I have fussy gloss balm on right now, and I think that this looks cute with this look, but I think I want something a little bit more chocolatey. I wanna put on hot chocolate lip gloss. As you guys know, Fenty doesn't have lip liners. That's a little bit problematic for me. It's a little bit of an issue. It's a conflict of interest when I'm trying to do a full face of Fenty. I'm gonna use truffle. It's not really giving me what I need. It's not chocolatey enough. It's not the vibe. I'm gonna use a NYX pencil in the shade brown. Directly on top of that, I'm gonna use hot chocolate. This is my completed Fenty face. Fenty for life, period. Are you feeling it, Bricks? Do you like it? I better like it. I hope that you guys enjoyed some of the tips and tricks that I showed you today using my favorite brand. And you know, hopefully your girl will get on PR one day, you know? Cause that, that needs to be a thing. And if you guys want that to happen, let's just go ahead and spam Fenty's Instagram. Like. 
let's go to Instagram and spam. No, I'm just kidding. Well, am I kidding? No, I'm not. Let's do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you did. I'll see you guys in the next video.